You know, recently, recently we've been hearing a lot of talk from places like Fox News and... And, and, uh, place... Places like that and places like, oh, where else? Oh, yeah, the governor's office. <laughs> vilifying, vilifying the unions in this country. This is this divisive talk, characterizing union workers as malcontents, bullies, and thugs. So I thought today, just for fun, I'd give you all a chance to meet one of these hoodlums. <laughs> face to face, look out now. Hold on tight to your little ones. Please allow me to introduce you one of my sisters from Green Bay. <laughs> I don't just mean sisters in the figurative sense, but one of my siblings. This is my sister, Amy. Amy, meet your fellow defenders of Wisconsin workers, and everyone say hello to Amy Giolini. I'm very proud to tell you that Amy is an educator in Wisconsin. And a And she's also a proud member of the teachers union after after graduating from a public high school green bay east amy went on to earn her bachelor's degree and master's degree in speech language pathology at the uni at the university of wisconsin at river falls But listen, for the past 25 years, this thug, <laughs> this lazy ass malcontent, <laughs> good for nothing bully, has, has been dedicating herself to working with young children and their families as a school based speech language therapist. in the Denmark school system here in Wisconsin. So what do you think? Dangerous? Right? Self-serving, right? No, she's adorable. Listen to me. My sister's rights and those of tens of thousands like her in this state and around the country are under assault. Even worse, even worse, the welfare of the students of this country is under assault. And I tell you, if we do not stop it now, we will all suffer. That is why, that is why you have seen scores of faith leaders, nurses, community activists, students, firefighters, police officers, and thousands of other workers, union and non-union, supporting you. And conversely, the polls clearly show that a vast majority of Wisconsinites do not support the agenda of soon to be former soon to be former Governor Walker of Wisconsin. What happened this past week is most assuredly not the end of their agenda. No, they want to unravel the very fabric of democracy in this state, and I promise you the end game of their insidious power grab will make what just happened here in Madison a couple of days ago look like a halftime show at an exhibition game at Lambeau Field. And we cannot let that happen.
They are just getting started. We cannot let that happen. Oh! This is a fight not just for union rights, for basic rights, civil rights, human rights. So I believe we need to send a message to Governor Walker. It's a, it's a lesson. A lesson in the three R's, not reading, writing, and arithmetic. No, he's already demonstrated that he doesn't quite get those. <laughs> so, in terms of the legislative battle, we will not retreat. We will recommit. And in terms of the gover governor's future, we will not re-elect. We will... And in terms, in terms of workers' rights, we will not relinquish them. We will reclaim them. This is a fight for fairness and for what we know is right. And we can win it. We can win it through the courts and by the rule of law and at the ballot box and through recall. Yeah.